Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the JavaScript and CSS tips and tricks tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to bind a, an arrays into a drop down list using a JavaScript. So let's start the tutorial. And here we got the final output of our application. Now it is the head attack how to bind an array into a drop down and which is a select option element using JavaScript and CSS. So when I click the select option, notice below we got red, blue, green, white and purple which are the arrays I have binded into this drop down list. If I select green, here we got green. If I select purple, here we got the purple. If I select red, here we got the red. If I select the label select, it's not selling because I have disabled. For this video tutorial, I am using Visual Studio Code. First, let's open our folder which is the JavaScript iPhone tutorials. And here it is, our folder is added to the VS Explorer. Let me expand this folder. Now, inside this folder, I am creating one um, array binding, array binding drop down DDL, so the DDL.stm. And here we got the newly created HTML file is open. Now next, now my next step is let me uh, minimize this VS Explorer as well as I'm closing this welcome page. Now let's write the coding part. First, let's add the doc type HTML. I'm closing the HTML element, and after that, I'm adding one header section. Below the header section, I'm adding body tag. Body tag. Now inside the body, I'm adding center H1. How to bind? Uh, an array, an array into a um, into a drop down, into a drop down, which is a select option. Select option using JavaScript, using JavaScript and CSS. For the styles, I'm using CSS. So let's add the horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I'm adding one select element select element in the select element i am adding the select id i required which is which is my drop down which is my drop down my drop down and after that in the select select we have an option which is a i am creating the label here select 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 and this select label I'm disabling selected disable so user can't select this label from this drop down list that's it up to now we have just finished the designing part now um, we require the JavaScript functionality so here script inside the script I'm adding document dot add event listener the add event listener dom content loaded content loaded here i am adding the function f is small f function function now let's declare options array options or let's add the options only these options are array i am creating an array so when we want to create an array, we need to add a square brackets. Now inside this array, red, I'm adding colors. Red, blue, green, white, purple. Just for the demo purpose, I'm adding only five color names. After that, I want to bind these options which are the arrays into this drop down. So let's declare one drop down variable document that get element by id. Let's define my drop down. My drop down. What is my drop down? Which is the id. My drop down. After that, um, we need to count the number of options number of arrays are there so for that i'm using for loop for for variable i is equals to zero i is less than 
i is equals to zero i is less than these options i want to get the length what is the options which is an array i plus plus then variable option i want to create an element option element i'm creating document dot create element create element what element i'm creating option 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 create element option after that option dot text is equals to options i we have a opti wo ns options then i'm adding drop down dot add option i'm adding this this option and and we need to close this javascript now let's add some styles style now the first one we need to add my drop down copy this one let's add hash because my drop down is a hash drop down border i want to add radius border radius to top left and top right so border top left radius around 5 pixels and border top right radius is around 5 pixels so around 5 pixels now let's add the background i'm adding multiple colors so linear gradient to right to right color is uh, tomato tomato to white tomato white purple purple and that's it let's add these three colors and the color of the text is black color font size is large font font weight is bold and let's add the align of the center text align is center and what else we require and that's it now now i want to add option this option some color i want to change the background color of the option so i'm adding i'm not creating any id i'm adding directly element only option option contains background color the background color i'm adding white and the color of the text color of the text is um, black black what i'll do is i will reverse here the color is black so it looks different let's add the black background color of the content is black and text color is uh, text color is white that's it we have done the complete coding part let's save this file we'll check the final output of our application for that we need to open the file explorer let's open that one the folder i have created in the e drive in the e drive this is a folder named javascript iphone tutorials and the file name is array binding drop down list array binding ddl.htm that's this is our file name let's open that one and here we got the final output of our application notice the header tag how to bind an array into a drop down and which is a select option element using javascript and css so when i click the select option notice below we got red blue green white and purple which are the arrays how binary into this drop down list if i select green here we got green if i select purple here we got the purple if i select red here we got the red if i select the label select it's not selling because i have disabled blue green that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to bind an array into a drop down using an arrays and css tips and tricks tutorial thanks for watching this video tutorial please subscribe share and leave your valuable comment we'll catch you in my next video tutorial